Welcome to another parent teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. Welcome to lesson 23. And in this lesson, uh, I will be showing you how to teach your child place value to 100. So obviously we're upping the bar. We, we've done this activity up to 20. And if you remember, that was in uh, lesson 19. And uh, the same materials. And of course, you remember this. I'm mean, going to have a few names for this. We can call it the ones, tens, one hundreds buckets or cups. That's the one I use. Uh, craft sticks, and as you can see, I have, I think I have 110 here, so you'll, you'll need at least 100 at any rate. Um, so, and, and also, as you can see, I pre-bundled these in bundles of 10 just to save some time here. And that's something you could do with your child. It'd be a good counting exercise. So those are pre-bundled, some extra rubber bands, just in case we need them, and at one point we actually will. Uh, the magnetic numbers, you remember those. We'll be using those. You'll need two each of, of the, let's call them numerals or digits, zero to nine. And finally, we will need a set of base 10 blocks, and I will show you those uh, in just a couple of minutes. So. Uh, the first thing uh, I would suggest you do is to review lesson 19, where we did place value to 20, uh, just to review kind of the finer points of, uh, of how you will be teaching this lesson to your child. All right, let's just uh, start with a number. Let's see. And of course, uh, as always, you model the activity, and then you can turn it over to your child and help, and and then... At some point, uh, he or she will, will be able to do this on their own. So let's start with that number, 64. And you could just say briefly that uh, to your child that I know that when I see this number, 64, a 6 followed by a 4, that in that number there are 6 10s and 4 1s. And that's just kind of a little reminder of, uh, of what you're doing now. So the next step, of course, is Place them by their respective uh, cups or buckets and show your child how to count that out. And of course, uh, this is a little different than the last lesson because now they're pre-bundled. So you can count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and four more. One, two, three, four. And to keep uh, going over the same uh, uh, concept, you of course would say, look, there are six bundles of 10 and four more, and you could push these numbers together like this because here they're just a six and a four, but when you put them next to each other, uh, you can ask your child, well, what number is this again? And he will say 64. So um, now you can uh, have your child do the activity. Let's take them all out here. Let's see, what's a good number? Here's a good number. How about 47? And uh, hopefully the first thing your child will do, and maybe she doesn't need to do this, uh, 
put them here because she may already understand exactly what she needs to do when they're together, but let's assume not. So 47 is four bundles of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, one, two, three, four, and seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you can ask him, and what number is that? And he should, of course, know to push these together and say, there are, that number is 47, and there are 47 uh, craft sticks in the buckets. So a simple exercise, but now, of course, we're going up to 100. So it may be a little bit uh, more challenging um, for your child. In fact, let's go up to 100 and over 100 because I want to make a point about something. All right. And here we go. We're finally going to be using the big bucket. And there it is, the number 100. And of course, your child may need to do this. So, um, as you can see, nothing here, nothing here. Um, uh, maybe, maybe here's a better idea. I like this better. I just changed my mind in the middle of a lesson here. We're going to do this. Let's make 99. So there's 99 there, and of course it's uh, 9 uh, bundles of 10, and uh, he or she can probably count by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. There's hardly enough room for them in there. And it says there are nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And of course, the big question is now, what if we add one more and go to 100? Well, let's put these away and find out. So we're adding one more, right? So now we have 10 in the ones cup, and of course we need to, you can ask her and hopefully she'll say, well, we need to bundle those, put them in the tens. And then you say, well, now look, we have 10 bundles of 10 in there, but just like this one, you can only have nine. You can't have 10, so show her what you're going to do. You're going to do this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and finally 100, and of course, You've got to bundle them. It's a bundle, one bundle of 100. Um, as you can see, place value is not an easy concept. Uh, your child might just be blown away by that <laughs> and not understand it, or she may get it right away. But uh, of course, if she doesn't, you just have to keep repeating and answering her questions until uh, she understands. And there you have it. One bundle of 100, no tens, no ones, a three-digit number, 100, consisting of a one, a zero, and a zero. And now here's an interesting uh, concept. What if you were to, I'm reaching for a craft stick here, add one more. Well, that's easy enough, right? You move this out, uh, and this changes to a one. And now uh, you can ask her, what number do you have? And pull them together like this and say, hmm, that's, and the zero in the middle might throw him, but hopefully he'll say 101, and you'll say, well, yes. And 
That zero is important because if you pull it out and don't have it, you have 11, and that's not how many sticks we have. So put them back here and show him that one bundle of 100, no tens, and one ones, but you've got to have that digit in the middle. It's a three-digit number and a zero in the middle. So it's what we call a placeholder, and that's actually a very important concept that uh, your child needs to learn. All right. Um, of course, uh, I'm not going to do this, but you can uh, do the exercises. Uh, we went numbers to sticks, and of course, you can go sticks to numbers, and uh, we've seen that before. I'll give you a quick example here. Let's say it's that, so your child's going to count 10, 20, 31, and then put these up here, and then finally uh, pull these together and say there are 31 craft sticks in there. So, and, and we've done that before in lesson 19, so uh, you know what that's all about. And welcome to part two of lesson 23, place value to 100. And as you can see now, I've changed the manipulative. These are called base 10 blocks, and this, these are just a part of a much larger set. And um, here's, here's the, the nomenclature for these. This single unit here is called a cube. A stick of 10 of these is called a rod, and as you can see, there are 10. Of course, they're stuck together, and your child might make a comment about that, but you might have, you just have to say, well, this represents 10. And finally, uh, oh, that's, that is called a, a rod, so all these are called rods. And finally, uh, you have what's called a flat, which is 100 separate cube, uh, cubes or 10 uh, rods put together. So those are the, the units you'll be working with. And just to give you an idea how it relates to our craft sticks, of course, these are equivalent, one craft stick, one cube. Um, these are equivalent, one rod and one bundle of uh, craft sticks. And of course, I don't have these out, but this would be the equivalent of one bundle of, uh, one giant bundle of these 10 uh, smaller uh, bundles of 10, in other words, a hundred, uh, a bundle of a hundred craft sticks. All right, um, and of course, uh, we can use these exactly the same way we use the craft sticks and the cups, although now you see I have a slightly different arrangement here. So I'm not gonna do too many of these because you'll get the idea after one. Uh, let's make the number, it's, we don't have a lot of space here, so I'll move these down. Let's make the number 35. Okay, um, so since it's a new, uh, a new manipulative here, uh, you might want to show your child this uh, to help them out. Tell them it's just like the, the buckets, except now we're using these uh, pads, places where he can put the, the manipulative, the base 10 blocks. So, it says three rods of 10. And let's just uh, count them out by tens. 10, 20, 30. And then it tells us five single units, which we call cubes. One, two, three, four, five. And then, of course, the numbers go together. And how many? Uh, cubes are there all together, how many uh, separate units, uh, cubes, uh, you know, obviously uh, c taking into account that theoretically these could be broken apart. 35, so as you can see it works very much just like um, uh, with the craft sticks. And of course once you get to 100 and over, this uh, big one will come into play. So. Um, that's the base 10 blocks, and that's how those works. And it's a great uh, companion activity to the, uh, to the craft sticks. It just uh, shows your child another way to do it, and it, and it gives her experience with another manipulative that is 
used widely, especially in schools you see these. So uh, good idea to do it this way also. And finally, I just wanted to mention uh, two more things that will bolster uh, this, this skill of uh, understanding place value and being able to master uh, the, the idea of place value. The first one is called the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives, and it's, uh, it's online, on the web. It's a wonderful website. It has all kinds of great math activities. The particular one that I am pointing you to now is, uh, is an exercise with virtual base 10 blocks. They look just like this, and I really can't describe it to you. You'll need to go there and, and see it. So if your child likes to do things on the computer, they would probably enjoy working with these blocks in, in a virtual way. And of course, uh, if you go to this lesson uh, on the Early Gifted Manual, there will be a, a, a link to that website. So I recommend that highly. And the other uh, thing you can do is, uh, there's a wonderful game you can play with, uh, with the craft sticks, and, and you can play it with these also. Uh, uh, it's called the place value game. So if you'd like to, to uh, do that game, once again, you can go to this lesson on the early gifted manual and you'll find directions and the materials that you will need for that activity.